buying us all matching pink Jeeps. <gasps> Wait, what? Yes, it's gonna be so fun. We can take our matching pink Jeeps on like an African safari or something. But how do we know that they're gonna have four identical pink Jeeps? Yeah, and how are we gonna get the Jeeps to Africa? I mean, are we gonna ship them or are we gonna take a fare? I don't know, number five, okay? Stop poking holes in the pink Jeep idea, please, and just accept the fact that I'm buying you all pink Jeeps. Take the win, number five. Jeez. Say we poison her bras. What? We soak all of her bras in poison, and then once they dry and she puts one on, we're like, Chanel, there's a new Barney's cop down the street. Hurry. And then she'll put one on, and she'll start running, and she'll start to sweat, and then the poison will seep through her nets and kill her. That's a horrible idea. Okay, Chanel's, this is Cliff Wu. So, walk me through this, honey. Well, as you can see, every pumpkin in the patch is artisanal. Ooh, good. Love the warty white ones. They look like number five when she runs out of concealer. This is all your So they only admitted one person to the ER all night, but it was some dude who needed help getting a Lego figure out of his rectum. What an idiot. It was Chad Radwell. What? The nurse said he told her he usually does his nightly nude yoga before he sets a perimeter of Lego characters to guard his bed while he sleeps, but this time he decided to do it after and accidentally sat on Lego Captain Jack Sparrow. That's the weirdest explanation for anything I've ever heard. Can I talk to you? In private. Private like the parts on a man you like putting in your mouth? <laughs> okay. Baby Jean Munch is like Rasputin. Like what? Uh, Rasputin? He was a mystical Russian peasant who became a close advisor of Tsar Nicholas II because he could magically cure Prince Alexei of his hemophilia. Okay, this seems totally not germane to what we're talking about. We buy a pig and feed it the body. Pigs will eat anything. Oh yeah, number five. Let's just mosey on down to the hog district and bring home a 400 pound sow. It's not conspicuous at all. I contacted Adam Levine and Maroon 5 is in. Great, go. Okay, well, the good news is I talked to Fergie's agent and she's in. The bad news is, and this is totally on me, but I googled Fergie's agent and ended up talking to this British guy before I realized his client was actually Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, so my bad, both Fergies are coming. So stupid. Oh my god, the mall is deserted. We've been shopping for like ever with no liquids or cotton balls. We think you need to contact number two and just give her a chance to do right by you. What the hell are you talking about? How? Well, I found this old talking board in the well, basement. Those things don't work. Yes, they do. Didn't you see the movie? The movie Ouija? No, no one did. Tonight? Oh no, we're locked in! Oh, as if, number five. Hi, excuse me? So I'm gonna need all of these to be a size zero. Oh, well they all should come in a size zero. Okay, but I'm gonna need these to be a size zero, and right now they're a size four. So, maybe try on a size zero. Okay, I'm not gonna try on the size zero because I won't fit into the size zero. I fit into the size four, but I'm not gonna leave the store with a bunch of size fours. I'm gonna leave the store with a bunch of size zeros. I really don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm sorry, but do you realize how rude you're being? My uncle owns a dairy farm in Wisconsin and they have these poop lagoons. They're like 10 feet deep and in winter they freeze over. And my uncle told me and my sister like, don't go skating on those poop lagoons because if you fall in, you'll drown in the poop and come springtime, there'll be nothing left of your body. But go. Okay, so um, I wasn't able to get Led Zeppelin. What? Well, apparently one of them died or something. Damn it, number five, do you have any idea what's at stake here. If this Black Hairy Tongue Pumpkin Patch Maze concert isn't the biggest thing to ever happen to this campus, I will lose the Kappa House presidency and Chad Radwell will dump me. Okay, well, it's not my fault that some guy died in the 70s. Excuse me, then whose fault is it? Mine? It's also stated right here in your Diners Club monthly statement. I'll take that too. What? I don't have a Diners Club card. Is Diners Club still even a thing? Number five, go. So I saw this documentary once about this high schooler who could grow all this really thick hair all over his body if he concentrated really, really hard on it. And maybe Dean Munch can do that too. I mean, this kid was like amazing. Like he won this high school basketball championship single hand. You're thinking of the movie Teen Wolf, you brainless gash, which is not in fact a documentary. Can you <gasps> not make it about you for one second? No, you know what I'm really freaking out. I feel like I'm having a fit. Their brand new smartphones and keep them on you at all times. I like the phone I already have. These phones are better, trust me. We have to ask her a question only she would know the answer to. Got it. Chanel number two, does Chanel number five's vagina have teeth? You can't ask her that! <gasps> Congratulations!
limitations. If you're reading this, it means you've overcome the limitations of your tiny manatee brains and opened an email. I was past needing to go number two. I needed to go number three. I mean, can we really trust a satanic talking board? It knew how many tampons. Talking boards tend not to hold up in court. Even if it did, there's no jail that can hold her. Last time we sent her to jail, she immediately got bailed out. I mean, yeah, by me, but... How about this? We take all of Chanel's diamonds and we crush them into a powder, and then we have a sugar party where everyone eats bowls of sugar. Except Chanel's bowl isn't filled with sugar. It's powdered diamonds that slice open her esophagus and kill her from the inside. What the hell is a sugar party? Okay, who just sits around eating bowls of sugar? And how do you even crush a diamond? It's like the hardest substance on earth. Shut up, number five. It's a great idea. Yeah. You have no right to treat our friend like that. I, I, I just don't know what you're asking. I... Okay, what I am asking you to do is to take all the tags off of the size zeros and put them onto the size fours so I can leave this establishment with what I came for, which is a bunch of size zero garments of a sexy lingerie nature. I am tired of the excuses, number five. I am tired of your sad sack. I'm a total downer all the time shtick. I ask you to reunite one legendary rock and roll outfit so that guys will show up to my patch and you're all like, oh, some guy died. 